Hello, you lovely people. And this is the tutorial's tutorial. This time, not the last video. That was just... I don't know what that was. I'm sorry about that. So, today this is going to be an After Effects tutorial. Haven't wanted done one of those. It doesn't want to go there. It's early in the morning. I'm sorry. Um, and, yeah. So, we're going to do an After Effects tutorial. And this is what we're going to make. It opened twice for some reason. Damn it. Okay, this is what we're going to make legit. It won't play. There we, there we go. We're gonna make something hand drawn, maybe right on like this and this and this. Um, we won't be using any elements in this because um, well, I made this for a company in London called Wireworks, um, who are awesome. They do like media website design things for companies. They're brand new. Have you ever heard of a company called Glassworks? They're a sister company to that. Glassworks are awesome, by the way. They do special effects for adverts, like Churchill and Nike and awesome stuff. And I've work experience there. Ah! Okay, that sounded very feminine. Okay, we're going to be doing some hand-drawn stuff to make it look like it was animated. Sorry, like that. So it's all wobbly and um, moving. This is actually very simple to do. Very simple. So let's jump right to it, homies. I'm gonna make a new comp. Now I like this one. It's anamorphic. It's 1920 by 817, and you'll notice the ratio there is 2.35. Now if you get any DVD case, um, I don't think it's on this one. Nope, that's a rubbish one. Hang on, I'm just getting a DVD which um, I know is anamorphic. It's Forrest Gump. A Bear with me. Yep. It will say on the back of it a DVD, which is an anamorphic film, which you can tell. It will say 2.35 to 1 aspect anamorphic aspect ratio or something. That's basically showing you that it's not the typical rectangle. It's a slightly squishier rectangle. Uh, 20. Uh, I like that frame rate because that's what my DSLR shoots at. And it makes a comp like that. And you will know. And you that's a, a, it looks wide, but it's really not. It's just flatter, and but that's what they use in the movies because they use anamorphic lenses which um, stretch it out. So they have to use a comp which will. This is getting too complicated. I'm sorry. Um, basically, this looks like it's meant to be in a film, so that's why I do it. Okay, now let's just make some new text. Yeah. Okay. Guess what we're gonna write, kids. I actually spelt it right this time. Now I'm using a font here called King Cool KC, and it looks very hand-drawn and awesome. Uh, you can get this off Da Font. Uh, just look for it. It's probably under the handwritten com. Com. I've forgotten the word category. That's it. Um, I like this font. It looks quite awesome. I'm gonna. So I'm gonna scale it up. Scale it up. I'm gonna press Title Action Action Save and center this up using these. Crosshairs. I'm gonna line them up. There you go. So now it's tutorials. I like that. I actually spelled it right this time. Okay. Shortcut. You can press S, and that will bring up the scale. If you press P, you'll bring up the position. If you press T, you'll bring up the opacity. If you press R, you'll bring up the rotation. Um, if you have a mask, you can press M. And I sh and that's all you really need to know at the moment. Um, so hand-drawn effect. We go to effect. Distort a turbulent and displace. Now at the moment, it's just going to make it look wobbly. And if we do animate the evolution, it's just going to go. Doesn't very look. Doesn't look very nice at all. So we're going to do changing some values here. So the amount is going to go down to 24, and the size to 35. So now when we do that, it's less wobbly. And now we're going to go to evolution options. We're going to cycle the evolution, cycle it 18, and we're going to alt click, alt click, thank you, on the random seed, and you'll get this thing up. Now, this is going to be a very simple expression, and it's time, little star, which is time, 10. So that number is going to go by why is this on frames? No. 
you can control click on this and it will bring up either frames, seconds, or something else. I don't know what they are. So every, I think, yeah, every second, let's just go back to the zip frame there. Yep, every second it's going to, uh, that number is going to increase by 10. So if we play that, it looks really odd. But there's something we need to do. We need to go back to the composition settings. I completely forgot about this. It's 10 minutes long for some reason. We need to change the frame rate to 8. Yes, eight. I'm gonna change this to about ten seconds long. So now, if we RAM preview this, still looks a bit much, doesn't it? It does. It does look like it's getting there. Um, we can make the size smaller. Oh wait, no, no, that's small. We can change the amount. We can just, you can just tweak these settings depending on the scale. Because if it's, if you have a big text or image, because this works on images as well. As long as they're ha they, as long as they're like the um, cloud I just showed you. Where is it? There it is. Uh, this may take a while to open. There we go. That looks. It's. It looks subtle now. But you can do it on an image like this cloud because that's on a a white background, and well, that the back. I'm overcomplicating this. I apologise. Um, that's white. So is the background. So you've got a lovely outline. Um, it also works on the earth as well because not com you don't want to do it on complicated um, pictures like an actual picture. You need to do it on something like this which is hand which looks like it's hand drawn so you can just go into photoshop to draw something like it like you're a four-year-old yeah get a four-year-old child to draw something in photoshop and then you can then you can do this to it and it actually looks quite cool now the reason we put it into eight frames a second is to make it look like it's been animated so it looks like you spent less time on it because you you would usually do it um if you were proper at doing this, you'd spend hours and hours doing this. We've spent seven minutes, almost eight minutes doing this. It's too fast at 24 frames a second. Also, shortcut, control K. You can get up the, the, the you can get the composition settings up. So we're going to change back to eight. Um, and you can also use this in a composition which is normal speed as well and it will stay at 8 frames a second so you can have something in here which is moving at 24 frames a second and that would stay at 8 frames a second and still look just at the same speed I am I apologize if this, this is getting over complicated um, I think now I shall teach you the magical art of making it look look like look it's it's early in the morning I'm not awake uh, we're going to make it look like it's hand drawn. So we have to select the pen tool. You can press G to bring that up. And now we select the layer. Mm, I'm going to press this key. Uh, did that, did that didn't, did, why doesn't that do anything? It must. No, it's that one. It's the one next to the one. It will make. It will maximize the view you're in. So it's the button next to the one on the keyboard. So we're gonna on the with the layer selected we're going to just this is also you can also find this tutorial on video copilot. I'm not saying this is my original idea, I'm just giving I'm just telling you people how we can use this his technique in this tutorial. So I won't really bore you with this, so I might pause it. So all you gotta do is go around the text. It doesn't matter if you cross over like that, it's not going to matter like anything you've already drawn, so I'll just pause this and do some drawing. <laughs> and I'm done, and that looks like a four-year-old has done it. Um, you can be as... it doesn't matter how messy this mask looks, it's gonna... 
it's gonna work, trust me. So we now have a mask. You don't have to close it up, join it up at the end, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can now that's what you need to do with a mask. So you go to effect, uh, generate a stroke. That didn't sound very good, did it? Generate a stroke. Hmm. So you know, if you've got multiple masks you can select them from this drop down menu or you can just press you can select individual masks to do it on or all masks and that will select all of them but we don't have to do that for this one because there's one mask so I'm just gonna change the color to red for the tutorial sake now we're gonna increase the brush size so it covers up all of the white there we go looking beautiful there I might make it a little bit smaller Oh, that's fine. It doesn't matter if you got a little. What? Act what am I doing? What am I doing? You can move these around to cover them up. If you if you do desire, I am gonna stop with the funky accents. Okay. So now we have something like this. If we animate this, it's gonna just draw a red line over it. That's not what we want. We want it to do reveal original image. So now if we drag the end. Oh! It worked. So we can keyframe this. This is going to be 10 seconds long of drawing. At 8 frames a second this is going to go quite quick. Now you do notice that there are bits that are getting draw like like the middle bit, it doesn't look too good. Eh. Yeah, you do get bits if it, it's because the text is quite thick, the letters are quite close together, and you've had to make the brush size too big for the actual strokes. So if you use a text which is reasonably spaced out, finish. Uh, lines you might say it'll be good it'll be all good so this is playing at 8 frames a second um, it does look like it's I'd say that's not bad for 10 to 12, 12 minutes work probably 13 including the title bit I need to find oh it's lost on the it's probably lost in one terabyte of nothing so that was a quick tutorial I did when I was half asleep. Yeah. I'm sorry about how terrible this was. Just, 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 just go. Just go. Don't look at me. You, you better not be looking at me. Don't look at me. Okay. And that's how you do it. You can apply that to anything. I had to draw around all of these lines, not those lines, all of these lines to make it look like it was drawing on. It looks better with this because I don't know. I spent two days on this. I no, three I spent three days on this animation because each of the things which gets drawn on had to be I they I took it from an uh, a PSD and just put them in there and just I had to do it for every single layer image element thing. So, it it the more time you spend on it, the more it the the better it will look. And to make it look like it's getting, to make these look like they're getting drawn on, I just got the the pen tool, and just did this all the way along, and then did the same stroke thing to it. That's what I did. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Come and subscribe to our tutorials. So yeah, I should say goodbye now. If you hate this tutorial, I understand. Just don't be hating haters. Go to the Epic Mealtime channel and hate there. They like haters there. Yeah. So yeah. There you go. Laters, taters. What the hell did I just say?